Hi, Emily Bender here. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the reason that you should incorporate, why you should file an LLC, how you will save on taxes by having your own LLC. This video is for everybody. It doesn't matter if you even have a company or an idea yet, you should incorporate today. I'm gonna to explain why, and in my other video, I tell you how. In the video that is called How to File an LLC DIY versus Ink File Review, this video has over 50,000 views. It was a runaway success on YouTube. I've made two videos about it. I don't normally give advice about how to file an LLC. I'm a marketing consultant, but I've done it enough times and I wanted to simplify the process for you because you might be thinking about starting an online business or starting a flower shop or whatever you wanna do. Go see my video on how to file an LLC. Continue watching this video to find out why you should file an LLC, even if you don't have a business yet. It all comes down to a simple equation. We're gonna talk about taxes and deductions. When you are an LLC, limited liability company, you can deduct business expenses to lower your annual taxable income. Therefore, you're going to be spending less paying Uncle Sam. This is tax avoidance, not tax evasion. Everything I mentioned here is legal and you need to consult your CPA or accountant to make sure that you're on the up and up the way that you file the taxes, but here's how I do it. I have two businesses, two LLCs, Beetle Moment Marketing, which is a consultancy, Wealth Voice, which is a startup that is a product to basically podcast on Alexa, wealthvoice.ai to go check that out. Okay, this is most people, probably you until you file your LLC. You're working for someone else. You have an employer, you get a paycheck. You're paying taxes on your, let's say it's a, for round number sake, $100,000 a year salary. Then let's say that year you spend $20,000 on various expenses like clothing and travel and dining and YouTube equipment, whatever it is. Guess what? A lot of those expenses could have been written off if you had a business. Let's say that you have those 20K expenses you're still being taxed on the $100,000, even though you spent 20,000 of those dollars on things that actually could have been business expenses. This is most people, and this is why most people are paying too much in taxes that they could be avoiding some of those taxes. Saving money on taxes is how a lot of wealthy people maintain and grow their wealth. Tax savings is a major strategic move in creating wealth. So don't overpay on taxes if you can avoid it. Creating an LLC will help you to avoid that. Here is you, when you file your LLC, use my other video, I'm gonna to link to it for tips on exactly how to do that for free by yourself. You don't need a service to do this for you. You are perfectly capable. People who are not as smart as you have done it before by themselves, so can you. This is uh, how it will be when you are writing off your expenses. You make $100,000 a year with your business or just from your multiple sources of income. You have those 20K in expenses. At the end of the year, you write them off. So then your taxable income instead of 100,000 is only 80,000. You're going to be taxed on a lot less money. This is just an example. You could get it down to 60,000 depending on what you write off if they are really business expenses. Examples of things that you can write off as a business owner are your phone bill, your internet bill, any kind of computer or recording equipment, anything you're using for marketing, email service. Um, there's any expense that you are using to build your personal brand and market yourself or your company or your online business or your Instagram channel. Like this is for anyone who wants to be an influencer, or do a digital business. You have to have an LLC. Also, it protects you because there is a veil legally where if somehow you end up getting sued or do something wrong, you personally are not on the line. Your LLC is. It has its own EIN. That is employer identification number. You use that in place of your social security number on basically anything, legal, document, W-9s, you're not on the hook, your business is. And it's all you, it's all you, like it's all the same money, that's the thing. Definitely have a separate checking account for your business though, that's also a tip. I need to make a video about that. Do you guys want more tips on like the setup of business account and banking and the tools that I use, the banks that I like for a startup, for my own LLC? If so, leave a comment below, I'll make a video about it. But to wrap this up, you're paying on 80K instead of 100K at the end of the day. This is why you should incorporate. Does that make sense? I've saved a lot in taxes by incorporating. Well, if you found this video helpful, please thumb it up, leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of questions you have about owning your own business, filing your LLC, and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel for more. All right, guys, see you next time.